158 years before Mary Wollstonecraft was even born, and 224 years before Susan B. Anthony cast her ballot in the 1872 presidential election, there was Margaret Brent, the nation's first female legislator and a remarkable woman from Maryland who few remember anything about. Margaret was born in 1601 in England to Sir Richard and Elizabeth Brandt, but she would eventually become a prominent businesswoman and landowner. When Margaret landed at St. Mary City in Maryland in 1638, she came with a purpose and made a name for herself. She was granted all the land she could manage by Leonard Calvert, Lord Baltimore's brother, perhaps the largest landowner and most influential person in the Maryland colony, she managed her own estate of Sisters Freefold, as well as Trinity, St. Gabriel, and Fort Kent. Margaret not only managed the affairs of herself and her sister Mary, but she was also executrix for deceased Governor Leonard Calvert and represented the legal interests of her brother Giles. Margaret appeared before provincial court at least 124 times between 1642 and 1650. It's there that she shocked the Maryland Council in 1648. She confronted them with legal requests and demanded not only a vote for herself on the council, but actually two votes, one for herself as a landowner and one as Leonard Calvert's attorney. Margaret Brent is often celebrated as the first woman to try to obtain the vote. After being refused this by the council, Margaret joined her brother and sister-in-law in Virginia. She died in Stafford County in 1671. Among her land holdings were Alexandria, Virginia, and the future site of Fredericksburg. As I began writing my book, A Hermitage of Her Own, which takes place in Front Royal, Virginia, I discovered that there was a similar excavation project happening not far from there in Stafford, Virginia. Several graves there were discovered deep in the woods by some hunters, as well as the remains of a fireplace hearth and the foundation of a chapel. These remains belonged to the Brent family, the first permanent English Catholic settlers in Stafford, Virginia. And of course, this is one in the same Brent family that we find our own Margaret Brent 